people look at Las Vegas as a, a place where you can come and get rich quick, whether it be through gambling or the rapid growth that's here in the valley. When they get here, some of them don't realize the dream, and that's where I encounter a lot of these people. <laughs> This special edition of Cops was filmed with the Metropolitan Police Department of Las Vegas, Nevada. All suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I moved here to Las Vegas in 1980, and uh, when I originally moved here, it was to work construction. I was always interested in police work, but uh, had never taken it seriously because police officers generally don't make a lot of money. It wasn't until the first night that I spent in a patrol car on the streets that I actually knew that this was a job for me, that I loved police work. 911 emergency 112. Hi, I'm in my house and uh, <clears throat> there's a horrible fight going on in an apartment right above me. Okay, and it's um, male and female, two males, what, what can you I hear? couldn't make it out. They just sounded like they were trying to kill each other. They are breaking up stuff and everything. Okay, we're en route on a domestic call now being reported as loud noise coming from an apartment down in the Baker area. And uh, according to the person who called this, uh, this event in, it sounds like uh, they're attempting to kill one another. Control 3 easy. I'll be out on a 417 at the Turtle Rock. Have a look. Yeah. Where, where's the noise coming from, ma'am? Uh, I'll show you the apartment. I was here with the man. They woke me up. I was sleeping right there. Okay, what are they screaming about? Can you tell? Uh, something like uh, you, mother so and so, and throwing furniture and stuff around. This one right here. Right, right here. One G. Right here. Hi, how you doing? Oh, it's me and my buddy. Have a little scrap. What happened to your face? Is that from the scrap? Sorry, you don't need to put your hands behind your back. Go ahead and step over here toward the wall. Sure. Okay? Please. Just stay right here. We just make sure you're okay. I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. No, we're just, uh, we're really scrap. Man. Okay, would you mind putting out the cigarette for me for just a minute? Are you guys roommates? Uh, we used to be. You used to be roommates? Mm -hmm. Does he look any worse than you? Yeah. He looks worse than you? He's about the same. <laughs> We're just old buddies, man. We just, I left him across town and he's pissed off. Okay, I'll put the handcuffs on you for a second, okay? Just just to make sure everything's okay. What, what, what are we being handcuffed for? Well, we'll uh, just want to make sure we don't start this up again. You guys are bleeding. Let me have a look at you, sir. Any marks on you? No, sir. Just a couple? Just a lip. A little lip? You guys are good buddies? Yeah, we're best friends. That's the worst thing about it. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. man. It's just... You don't have anything on your... Uh, no, sir. No kind of weapons? No, sir. You got a good jump on it, though. Yeah. Just right. got a couple <laughs> good old buddies got together for a reunion. Yes, oh. sir. You guys want to tell me why you were beating the heck out of one another? Oh, actually, it was me beating the heck out <laughs> you were, he caught me by surprise. By surprise. Okay, you. He left me up on the other side of town. I had to walk to this side of town, and I was uh -huh. like, I, mean, you know. well, I can hear you. And so you yeah. decided to go ahead and I, lay into I him. I was at Decatur, Charleston, and he just dropped me off, and uh, it was nothing big. So everybody's happy here. Yeah, yeah no <laughs> we're happy. No problem. Everything's all right. Just a fight. All right. You know, come Do on. you guys live with one another now? Uh, no, not yet, but we will. But you're going to? We're going to move together, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. What is this? Well, you were creating so much noise, and it sounded like you were oh, beating the heck out of one another in there. We didn't yeah. mean to create no noise. Dude, is this going to continue, guys? Because if you throw another blow, no, we're going to have to take somebody not. to jail. No, not. We're no. chilling out. You're done. Hey. Tell, me, tell me this. Do you guys love one another? Baby. 
Uh, all right. Uh, I don't think we have a crime here. All right. Do you want to press charges against him? Do you, do you want to press charges against him? No. Okay. Is this going to continue? No. We're it's already right. over. Uh, I now pronounce you man and wife. Thank you, sir. Oh, don't do that, man. I've been married before. Everybody's happy. Hey, we're happy. Or Adam 1, I'm in the area. Adam 1. Oh, Sir Baker 3, 467. Baker 3. Downtown, you got a variety of everything from street pushers, street whores, and a big problem with the transient homeless vagrants, we call them. You see these guys on TV and, and half the public or more than half the public feeling sorry for this old old guy who we'll call a vagrant. He's out here taking purses from 60 and 70 year old ladies, knocking them down, hurting them. You better stop, buddy. I don't know. The old man back there was yelling. There he is. I'll go around here. Stop right there! Put your hands out in front of you. Lay down. Lay down, put your hands out the side. Don't move. I don't know. There was an old man standing on the corner. Looked like he was blind or something. That's not his idea. We know him. You know me? We just took you to jail a long ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. You love me, man. I love you like a brother. Thank you. See if you can... There's an old man with a cane on the corner there. Okay, hold on. Let me check his other side. Just stay there. I know you. I recognize your harmonica. What's your name? Well, we're going to go see exactly why you were running, buddy. I got the victim. It is uh, a license for a person. Um, no sign of report. Let me come back and pick you up in the car. Copy. There is a victim down there on the corner. So you've been lying, Mike. So why are you running? You have no dog with you. You have none of your stuff with you. And you got to be running for some reason. Okay, let's roll up on your... But sit up. You ready to stand up? Yeah, I stand up on my own. Come right over here, stand against that wall. Don't move, all right? Can you get out all right there, sir? Yeah. You can sit right there in the car if you want. Huh? Bring the money. I've got to do. What did he take from you? A whole, whole bunch of money. Six, uh, four dollars, four or five or six dollars. I didn't call. Okay. Me. Seven dollars, Joe. Right. Right. I'm gonna give it to you now. You gotta sign a release for it, all right? Oh, yeah. What's his name? My you name? have all his. Okay, so you're coming down Fremont Street. Yeah. He reaches right in your pocket, pulls it out, pulls and it takes out, off right running. Around. He takes on around the corner. What, what's wrong with your legs? What kind of disease do you have? Polio. Polio. So you can't catch him. I can't catch So you're him. yelling for the police and that, and he runs right on by, yeah, huh? I, I told him, hey, hey, you stop. And he just kept on going, he Kept huh? on going. Show up, okay. Well, as long as you show up, as long as you show up and justify against him, we have no problem putting him in jail. Were you in fear for your life at all, or any fear of injury? I'm always in fear of my life. Were you fear of injury due to your polio? Yeah. You yeah, I'm always in fear. Yeah, let's go strong. You didn't know buddy. if this guy was going to hurt you or not, no. but we're trying to say. His picture's right in here. here. That's all we needed to know, because it makes a difference in the crime, if it's a larceny from person or if it's a robbery. Wow. Okay? All you had to do be in... Exactly. All you had to do is be in the fear of being hurt. Michael! Bad choice, buddy. He's the one that specializes in victims. He waited and he, he looked for the right person. Now, how worse can you get a guy with polio and a cane? And that's what it's all about. This guy's down here preying on victims, so. But the difference between the times when we arrested him and now is this time it's a felony and before it was 
just loitering misdemeanors. This time he'll spend some time in jail. Control 4 FB, we'll take that 417. Apparently the person that called in the report called medical too because said the, the female of the domestic dispute here has her head busted open. That's all we have. 832, I don't know where. Yep, this one. There he goes too. He just left out the back, huh? This is a bad guy right there. Let's see if she's here. Police, you okay? Where'd he go? You're the guy that hit her in the head? No, I didn't hit her in the head. Well, who hit her in the head? Nobody hit her in the head. How'd her head get like that? She, her leg gave out and hit on the stairs. Yeah. I didn't Let's hit nobody see. in the head. Let's see. Did you call medical? Yes. I, the second time Take I called. Take it easy. Let's see. see how bad it is, huh? Oh, my God. Oh. How'd that happen? I got out of the van. You got out of the van? Somebody hit you? Tell me the truth. Yeah, he did. You don't have to cover up for him. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Quit pushing me. I didn't do anything. Right here. Why don't you tell me what happened? I just told you. Tell me again. I told you. Tell me again. Her leg gave out. She's got a bad leg. She hit her in the step. I'm telling you. That's no, not the truth. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, Fat we'll slob out here. All right. Punched her out inside and threw her down. She hit her head somewhere. On the step on the way in? I didn't you do ain't that. But a punk if you hit I'm her not a head. punk. We're taking him away with us to jail. Yeah, but you don't no, you don't understand. Is if you don't. Well, tell me about him. If you don't start doing something now, it's going to go on for longer and longer. Oh, my God. Do I have to do this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. just to hold this on there, okay? So, Geraldine. Yes, sir. Tell me about it. We can't do anything if you don't tell us about it. Well, he's going back again tonight. No, he just won't leave me alone. He won't let me away. You think you deserve big cuts on your head? No, I don't. Of course I don't. So why don't you start doing something about it? Let us help. I'm trying. Then tell me what happened. I want the truth, not what he says. I got out of the van. Uh huh. I wanted to go away. He was bugging me and bothering me. He was right. turning off the wild things. I was trying to go away, and then he grabbed me and started hit me in the stomach. I don't know. The next thing I knew, I fell. I don't know what happened. So he was hitting the stomach, and you lost consciousness, and you fell down. He hit me up. I hit my head somehow. I don't know how it happened. You hit it on the steps outside. No, I'm running right now. Out in the alley. Here. Out in the alley? Did you black <laughs> out? I don't know. It happened okay. so bad. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Gosh, got with cut it. on the inside of the nose. Will you, will you sign a report? Oh, God, here we go. Just say yes. Yes. Okay. Number four? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. I'll walk you outside with a little gurney. We'll take you over to the hospital. Okay. Get you all right leg. not too good. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Ahead, that way we'll I'm make sure we have it. She said she would. <laughs> You're going to jail, punk. We're going to the hospital and get the report. The UMC. He did do this. No. I'm not going to lie. You have a copy of report here, the pink copy. Okay. Okay? Uh -huh. You signed it. That gives us the right to arrest him and put him in jail okay. for the crime. Uh -huh. Okay? That's the first phase. The second step to this whole thing is that when you're called upon to testify, you do that. Right. Let him know that you're not afraid of him anymore, that you're not going to let him do this to you or anybody else. Okay? okay? Yes. You promise you're going to do that, right? Yes, I Because oh, me and my yeah. partner don't want to come back to your house two weeks from now and find you in a pool of blood laying there unconscious this time. Okay? Uh -huh. You got hurt this time, but you were fortunate it wasn't as bad as it could have been. All right? Geraldine, just relax, all right? We're going to go now, okay? All right, thank You'll you. You'll be all right here. All right. 
This is a flash roll that we'll use. Our undercover officer will come by just about anything in that hotel tonight. This is Las Vegas. That's what it's all about. Okay, uh, uh, Tommy's going to be the player. We got him uh, ID'd as a Middle Eastern wealthy high roller coming in from L.A. I want you to order up two, two gals uh, from the service and play the real, you know, so we get it going good. Show them the money, the jewels. Uh, try to get two at, two at a time. Once we get two, let's get the soliciting on, get them in the bathroom real quick, get on the phone again and get another one so we can get two different services from the same room. The last time you did the Middle Eastern thing, you had them running to you, so play it up good and we'll see how we do. Okay. You got ID, Nader? Is it all, yeah, I got all the set? ID all set. Uh, reservations are in my name also. And he needs to carry the role, or a good portion of the role. Four thousand. There's five thousand. You guys ready? Let's do it. Okay. He'll be in for his residence. Total two oh three, I'm also in route. Why don't you go ahead and, and, and sit over there comfortably so we Okay. Looks good. Looks like we're pretty good there, Tommy, so. Okay. Uh, Operate over here off the table. And we'll have good uh, We'll have good video, we'll have good sound. We should be able to pick up everything that's said. Okay, are there any dead spots or blind spots? Uh, yeah, if you, if you gotta get clothes off or something, you want her clothes off, over there in that corner is, is good. Yeah, Whatever, the rest of the room's pretty well covered with the video, so. Okay. Uh, yes, hello? Yes, hello, I would like uh, uh, you send a girl to, to my room. Uh, perhaps you have uh, 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 two, two girls? Okay, perhaps 30 minutes? 30, 40 minutes. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Pretty good for an Irishman from Boston. Not bad. All right, we're uh, set. Just kick back and wait till they show up. You're alone? Yes. And you have requested two girls? Yes. Okay. I'm one. <laughs> is, is there another girl coming to, mm -hmm. to the room? I think so. Okay. Okay. And your name? Iha. I'm Susanna. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Susanna? Uh-huh. Very pretty name. Please, please. Thank you. I'm a little nervous, you know, when I, in the beginning because... I, I do not... I have never done this, never called... Never? Never. Before. Well, I can tell you're very lucky to get me. Yeah, I... I <laughs> I'll so. tell you that. If you've so. never done this before. They have a lot, a lot of girls. They keep a lot of girls busy, and a lot of the girls are very average. Do you understand the word average? Average, you know, most girls are average, <laughs> which is... Plain. Okay, you know, Plain. from one to ten, okay, you understand one to ten? Yeah. Me, nine. <laughs> the other girls, five. Ah. What kind of date are you expecting? Uh, I'm sorry. What kind of evening would you like to experience? Uh, two, two girls. Dancing? Two girls. Dancing girls. <laughs> Not just dance. Well, that's possible as well. We we do in in bed. Can I see some identification? 
uh, an ID for uh, anything with your picture because you know why? I'm afraid that you're a policeman. Policeman? Uh huh. They from here? Oh, yes, they want me. <laughs> they want me and all the girls that work for the agency because prostitution is illegal in the city limits of Las Vegas. Prost prostitution? Uh, I have the, uh, you see. The proof of your identification. I have this and this. This. Hello? Hi. Hi, I'm Sasha. Yeah. Sasha, yeah. This, Hi, this Sasha. Hi, hello. I'm Susanna. Sasha. Okay. Yes. Are you alone? Yes. I am alone. Yes. Me. We can discuss business. I've already checked his ID, mm -hmm. and I've talked to him for a few minutes, and I'm sure he's not a policeman, okay. uh, because I have been talking to him, and he's not in a disguise or anything. Oh, he's really who he is. And you want S Sasha and I to be together? Yes, yes. For you? In, in Tibet? Yes. You know that we want $500 a piece. 500 each. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Five. Are you happy? Yeah, it's good. Five. Mm -hmm. Five. Do you want to have fun? You want to join in? Uh, after? Uh -huh. After I, I, I uh, watch. Uh huh. You do. You yeah. want to have more? Yes. You want more? Yes, that is more. Mm hmm. Oh, what do you want to do? You just want, you want to each of us afterwards, right? No. You two. Together, yes. And, you'll, and you'll join in whenever you want? Afterwards. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. Oh. So that's extra. Okay. That's nice. At least three. Three. A piece. Mm -hmm. When we go even a thousand dollars, it's what I usually get, it's a thousand. Mm -hmm. Because it's a very um, rare situation. Usually it's just one on one, but three is different. Okay, and that is. Five more. Five oh, please. Yeah. For those two lots. Yeah. Okay. And we'll, put and we'll do whatever you want. <laughs> You're under oh arrest. You're under arrest. Oh, jeez. Why don't you two to stand right over here? Get up. Stand up over here. You guys got a lot of money to come up with, too, and I want it pretty quick. Uh, they should each have uh, 1400 You've been tested for uh, AIDS here in Las Vegas yet? No, last year. Okay, you're going to be taken to jail, and we're going to draw some blood on you and test you for AIDS. You've never been booked here in Clark County, I see. So are you familiar with our AIDS law here in Nevada? AIDS yeah, the prostitution and AIDS. We have the right under statute. Anybody arrested for charge of soliciting prostitution, we have the option at our discretion of drawing blood on you, testing you for the HIV uh, virus. The reason we do this, we started testing all our prostitutes about uh, 18 months ago. We've got 30, 36 girls right now working the streets that have AIDS, so... Uh, every six months you're going to be tested as long as you continue to go out here and work. So what I need for you to do is just sit back in the chair and try to relax a little bit. I want you to do is make the fist with this hand and just come under your elbow like that so you have some things to rest your arm You can relax your fist, but don't move your arm. If you come back positive on this test, you'll be notified of that result and you'll sign another form. If you're arrested again subsequent to that for soliciting prostitution, the next arrest will be a felony. It's punishable to 10 years in prison. And a good piece of advice is to get out of this business. Metro Police, what's the problem? Well, there's been a slight case of rape involved. When, when did this happen? Pardon? When did this happen? Just a few minutes ago. The girl's over here right now at my what, apartment. Is, does she need an ambulance at all? 
No, I don't think she's an analyst. I'm putting ice packs on her head right now, but she's just hysterical a little bit, you know. Are the guys still in the other apartment? Yeah, they are. Okay, we'll have somebody come over, Tom, all right? Bye -bye. Just keep her in your apartment. Beg your pardon? Keep her in your apartment. We'll keep her here. No problem. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Hi. Are you Tom? Yeah, I am. What happened? What's her name? Kelly. Kelly. Kelly, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I know that you're very upset. Okay. Were you in here? Were you in here? No, she was she's over there. Is that what she knows? No, she was visiting. It's Does she know these guys? Do we know? Yeah. She's visiting. Yeah, she's a guy over here. How old are the guys involved? Kelly, was was there one or or more than one, dear? Okay. How old is he? How would you say? Late forties, fifties. Been already sleeping in her house coat, and this guy comes over and starts feeling her, sticking his fingers in, and everything else. The guy's like probably almost 50 years old, you know. Mm -hmm. old. I've seen him out here by the jacuzzi. The guy doesn't live here, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know him. I mean, I've talked to him, but I don't really know him. She went in the back bedroom to go to sleep. Uh, the subject, who's probably 50 years old, came into the bedroom and was telling her she she was asleep, and he was telling her that she, he was this guy Drew, her friend. Okay. Uh, and we're back and we put his fingers inside of her. There was no 426. It was an attempt. We put his fingers inside of her. Uh, was grabbing her, wouldn't let her up. But apparently, this Drew and his friends who are at the apartment now all knew that they at least knew that they were in the apartment. Mm -hmm. So she called the guy that lives here, and he came over there and got her. She's real upset right now. Uh, when when I first asked for you, I, I thought we had an actual 426. But it looks like. It's well, did he actually make penetration with his fingers? Yeah, he's got a 426. Um, hey, Barry, that's rape crunches on the phone. Call. Yeah, I had rape crunches call her because she's like in a panic. Okay, let me uh, see if I can talk to her. I'll get a hold of you. Okay. Gentlemen, who else is in the apartment? Go ahead, give me a reason. Get in here. Get in here. Give me a reason. Are you Phil? Do what? Are you Phil? I'm Ron. I'm not Phil. Where's Phil? He's in the bedroom. Sit down. <laughs> no, come on out here, please. Hang on now. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. It's the police. Get up. What? Apparently, you don't understand. I don't understand. Let me help you. Hang on now. No. You want to no, fight? Wait a minute. No, I don't want to fight. I just want to know what's going on. What the story? Come here. Are we going to fight? No. Put your arm behind your back. Yeah. Now. Now. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with you? Get up! Oh. Easy, easy. You don't need to get serious here. Okay. My city is Yes, yes, sir. Okay, who are you? Sit there. What's your last name, Mark? Cazelli. Cazelli? Yeah. What's your name? Ron. What's your last name? Christensen. Hey, gentlemen. Uh, you know, you know what's going on? No, no. no. Okay, was there, was there a young lady here earlier today? Earlier tonight, drinking? Yes. 
Okay. We have a uh, report of rape. Hmm. By you. You need not, and you need not answer any questions until that attorney has been Hang appointed for you. Hang up you the phone. To answer questions now. You may stop at any time. Are you confused? No, not really. You have some kind of neurological problem where you can't understand English? No, I have I have no problem with English. When I ask you to do something, I expect you to do it. Or you can go too, whichever you prefer. No, sir, I was just making a phone call. Okay. You know. You're not gonna make it a phone call while I'm conducting an investigation. You wanna investigate? Investigate. You know, what's what's the problem here? You know, really? seriously. We've been here all We've been, uh, are, are we putting up any any force or? Yeah, as a matter of fact. Is that okay, right? Yeah, your buddy's jumping out the window back here, and he wants to wrestle me on the bed. You got some warrants? Yeah. Why are you going out the window? I, I knew I knew we got in a little conflict with Kelly tonight. She's been here for two days, and I you know I I just come home and I I seen her. She was in there passed out. So with my hey, she in the bed. Yes, yeah, she was in the bed, yes. Okay. And she was stark naked, okay. And I went in there and laid down. And I've been drinking. We had a little party and everything. And, but I didn't, uh, I did not rape her. I did not. She had all her clothes off when she was in bed, before she got in the bed, okay. Okay, that's serious. Come on, come on. Yeah. And uh, I didn't do anything wrong to her. And then she got up screaming. And she said she spent the night over the other apartment. So I'm going back over there to have another talk with her. I think what we got is a 408 that was really just something got out of hand. But See, I don't think so. Uh, for, for whatever she did prior to tonight, I think the old man forced herself on it. Well, that could be, but we got to get something straight with her first. So before we start taking any action on this, I gotta make sure that we got a case that Monday morning is gonna be the same as it is tonight. Unfortunately, a lot of times when things like this go to the jury, <coughs> it becomes a, a moral question rather than a legal question. And I don't think the moral question needs to be answered here. I think the legal question needs to be answered. And the only issue is whether he forced himself on her or he didn't. Um, the evidence that, that I can see at this point would indicate that he did. Otherwise, we wouldn't have made an arrest. Uh, we definitely have probable cause to believe that he sexually assaulted her. Well, often, uh, very definitely is a boom town. When I transferred down here approximately six years ago, there was only 92 actual residents living on the Nevada side of the river. And our static population now is approximately 4,500 people. Uh, as far as tourism goes, with last New Year's Eve uh, weekend, we had uh, 70,000 people in this community. One of our problems down here and concerns is uh, we have a significant transient problem down here. A lot of people come into this community uh, because it's nationally known as a boom, boom town, and they're expecting to get uh, work right away, and it draws those type of people. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check on those kids. Affirmative. Yeah, they said he wasn't going to get back with us. So, uh, Thompson never called back. We're going to go inside right now and try and get some information from one of the security supervisors uh, in reference to some children that may be uh, living inside of a trailer under uh, conditions that may not be safe or uh, sanitary for the children. Hi, guys. How you doing? Bill, what's going on? Is uh, Jimbo or Denny around? Denny, I think. Do you guys have information possibly on the two girls that are supposedly little girls that are living out in a uh, trailer out in your parking lot? I think so. If somebody knows where that's at, I'd like to have somebody show me. We need to check on it and see if they're around, okay? Have you seen inside the trailer at all to see what kind of conditions the trailer's in? There's a big dog in the way, and I didn't want to get chewed up. It should be right up here. This one right here? Yeah. All right. Right here. They are here. Hey, puppy. Down, boy. Oh, how you doing? John Size from Metro. Um, 
I've got some complaints here in reference to the care that your children are receiving while they're staying in the trailer. I need to come in now in order to determine whether or not there's any type of a neglect situation occurring here, okay? Is there anybody else here with you? Hi, kids. How you doing? You're, are you not the father? No. Okay. Let me explain something to you, okay? By Nevada state law, these children have been put in a situation that's unsanitary. There's not the proper facilities for raising these kids right in this trailer. As a result, they are going to be taken to Child Haven. Hon, let me explain something to me. You and your, you and, you and your, you and your little sister, your little brother there, have to go with us. We're going to take you to a place called Child Haven, okay? And there's nothing to be afraid of. They have toys there, and there's other kids. And then your mom will come and get you on Monday, okay? So you just have to stay there for two days, okay? Is there any special animal you want to bring with you? Do you have any stuffed animal or doll that you like to bring along? Okay. How about how about how about uh, Cordell? Does he have any special toy? One little special toy he'd like to bring with him? Okay. Why don't you grab a jacket? Is this yours, hon? Will you help me with Cordell and to explain what's going on? I appreciate you being nice about this, hon. I need you. You're acting like a real big girl. I appreciate that. Cordell, we're going to go someplace to stay where there's other kids and some toys for you to play with, and your mama come get you in a couple of days, okay? And your sister's going to go with us, okay? Come here, Corey. And there's other little kids there, and you can play and stuff, okay? Come here, buddy. I want you to know I appreciate your cooperation. I just don't have any choice just in this. Go. Just go. Before I, I'm not so cooperative. Well, I suggest you remain cooperative. Just go. I'm not really happy with this situation. Danny, would you do me a favor? Can you ride with Mike to the station? Sure. And uh, sure. we'll put the children in with you. Okay. I want to tell him that he has to be out of here by tomorrow. Okay. We're going to go uh, head to the casino now to uh, make contact with the mother. I received information that she's... Uh, currently working there to explain to her that we've taken custody of the children. Hi, Bobby. How you doing? Fine. Uh, let me explain something to you. We received numerous complaints uh, from people at the Ramada parking lot over the last two days in reference to uh, your children uh, being left unsupervised for periods of time. Really? Uh, because of the information, okay, I understand, but because of the information I received, I went over there tonight. Uh, because of what I saw, uh, the place, I don't know any other way to put it, it's just a mess. Uh, there's no ice box or refrigerator with any type of food for the children. The uh, toilet facilities aren't working. Uh, when I opened the door to the bathroom, it just plain stank, and the place is just not fit for a child. Uh, when, I, when, I, when I looked at the children, uh, they are not very clean. Well, they uh, hadn't had a bath today. No. I, I understand They're that. Kids. They're cho I know, and I realize that, but their clothes are real soiled. Uh, due to the fact that I received numerous complaints, I am to the children are going to be taken to Child Haven up in Las Vegas. It, they're going to be up there with other children. It's not going to be in the detention area. They'll be up there in the regular kids area, okay? Right. So you don't have to worry about them. But some other arrangements are going to have to be made. Well, I can send it back to my mom. Uh, I understand, and, and if you can satisfy juvenile authorities, there won't be any problem. Okay. I understand you're working hard, you're trying to get on your feet, but once I learn this and I see the conditions you're living in, Bob, I can't, I can't leave them in that. Do you yeah. understand? All right. Okay? All right, All right I'm going to go. I'll see you later. Who's hungry here? All right. Do you eat a lot of pizza? Pizza. pizza. Some napkins. This one. That's yours. This sure is yours. This is good. Is that good pizza? Yeah. Okay. Three Mary 34, Sands in the Boulevard. It's in reference to a subject crawling in the backyard. Control Mary 34, come at the air unit, right? They're unavailable at this time. Okay. What are you doing here? Pardon me? What I said. Oh, what'd you say? Ooh. 
Don't spit at me. Get up. You done being stupid? Yeah. Okay. There. How's that? Are you seeing a doctor for this? Yeah. Okay. You taking medication? What are you taking? 151 or what? Cumbia. Huh? Cumbia. Cumbia? Cumbia. Copenhagen? Cumbia. I don't understand drunk. Oh, 45. Yeah. Nothing? Pay the Lawrence knee and trespass. Well, he's got a public nuisance now. Huh? What's the matter? What'd you have for dinner tonight? One three five Christian three ten twelve control. Oh. Information: I have one three five en route on a four one eight Spring Mountain in Arville. Let's walk. Come on. You gonna walk or what? Ugh. Hey, what are you? Gave you every opportunity in the world to walk. Emergency 114. 911 emergency. I've got a runaway vehicle traveling in circles in the west parking lot of the Mirage. It's an unoccupied vehicle traveling in circles. That copy. He said that uh, he doesn't know where the driver's at, but it's going around in circles with nobody in it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we can shoot out the tires. Nah. No, you guys just stay away from that car. Which one of you guys are quicker? I'm quick, but that door, I... The driver's door is open, or unlocked. You think you're fast enough to get to it? No, not with that front end swinging yeah. like that. You can't do that. Nope. <laughs> you guys got a big semi-truck around here somewhere? Yeah, the window, the the circle, bust the window, pass Fifty dollars. It'll probably cost you five hundred. Get that trailer. Especially if it's their trailer. 
<laughs> it wouldn't break. <laughs> so I hit that thing. <laughs> that was good. Probably. Might have a little. Might be a little rough on a transmission, but. <laughs> Do you see how we saw that in? Jumped in there, right? No, I broke the window and jumped in. <laughs> he couldn't get on the front side. He's working his way down this way. He was ready to drive in the truck down there, so we had to get in. Bust open the window. We this lady's car. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get the glass out of the car here for you. How'd this happen? It slipped out of park. Oh, I see. Either I didn't have it all the way in park or it slipped out of park. Uh huh. So I went to get in another girl's car and it left running. And it, then it hit the trailer and started going in a circle. Uh huh. I don't know how it got out of uh, park, but it did. But to drive it to be okay as long as you're in it. The big thing, nobody got hurt. Right. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Tracy Ullman has moved to Saturday night. It's an all-new episode one half hour from now. And tomorrow night, don't miss an all-new episode of The Outsiders. Later tomorrow, when Bart Simpson takes on the local bully, will he take it on the chin? Find out on The Simpsons. Now, Totally Hidden Video is next.